Hi, I'm Holly Cusimano and this is 52 Ways to Add Herbs to Your Life. Uh, I've been thinking about inspiration because many people have mentioned to me that I'm inspiring them to do new things in the garden, plant new plants that they've never tried before, and make some recipes maybe that are also new to them. And it got me to thinking about some of the incredible people who have inspired me and who continue to inspire me. So I just wanted to briefly talk about four of them. The first one is uh, Joanna Reed, who is a past president of the Herb Society of America. Joanna Reed died in 2002, but we had an opportunity to visit her garden twice and actually the second time was just a, a day or two before she passed away. But the thing that inspired me about Mrs. Reed was first of all the amazing garden that she had and secondly how gracious a hostess she was. When you toured her garden and then had lunch uh, in her home you, she really made everyone feel so special. And she was an incredible artist uh, in her own way. She created cruel work that was really unique. And she decorated whole drapery panels and upholstered chairs in handmade uh, cruel fabric. So anyway, she has to be in my top four uh, inspirational people. The second one I wanted to mention is Lucinda Hudson. I happened to uh, be in Austin, Texas this year and heard Lucinda Hudson uh, make a presentation. Lucinda Hudson is super enthusiastic. Um, her um, interest in herbs and cooking and gardening is really infectious. And the thing about Lucinda Hudson is her style is so over the top. I mean, she painted her house purple. And even her cookbook, called the Herb Garden Cookbook, is, is purple. She um, uses fruits and vegetables and herbs in um, her preparations for parties that are really over the top. And I saw a photograph of sangria that she made, and it was so filled with fruit in this clear uh, glass pitcher, there's barely any room for the drink. So Lucinda Hudson, H-U-T-S-O-N, is another person who inspires me. The third person I wanted to mention is Susan Belsinger. And um, Susan Belsinger is a teacher, um, and she does a lot of demonstrations on cooking. She's quite a, sort of a firecracker personality. She's, she's little, um, with sort of wild curly hair, and a beautiful lady with um, great style. I saw her do a cooking demonstration where she was tasting different basils and each one she put in her mouth she rolled it over on her tongue and really took her time reminded me of a wine tasting susan is co-author for many books including several that are on a single topic um, i happen to have this one called basil but she has another one called garlic and many many other um, books. She's a wonderful educator. So Susan Belsinger is another person who inspires me. And then lastly, I wanted to mention Adelma Simmons. Um, Adelma Simmons is sort of a legend in the herbal world. She created an herb uh, farm called Capri Lands in Coventry, Connecticut. And back in the 1970s, my mother and I actually drove there. It was maybe 500 miles or something like that. And we did get to meet her and see the educational gardens that she uh, created. Her writing is so beautiful and well um, researched. In, but 
she's known for an outfit that she always wore. It's almost like a monk's costume with a hat, a little cape, and a dress. And um, when I think of Adelma Simmons and really the depth and how individual she approached the topic, I have to think of the expression that the kids use today, uh, fly your freak flag, because Adelma Simmons definitely was um, an interesting uh, individual and she did her own thing. So anyway, I hope uh, I inspire you, you inspire me. See ya.